morning, we'd like to war welcome Carl, PK, and Malcolm Subban. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you here. I'm PK. If you're a hockey player, his name is uh, familiar from the Montreal Canadiens. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Very good. Now, you guys are here to talk about the uh, Hyundai Hockey Helpers, which is an amazing charity. But I want to start with you, Carl. You moved here with your parents from Jamaica when you were 11? Yes. And then at what point did hockey become part of your life as a kid? I think it uh, became part of my life as soon as I stepped off the plane and arrived in Sudbury. You know, after the first snowfall, the uh, boards went up, the ice went in, the right. skates went on, and the game was on. That's you know a fine I mean? how-do-you-do, though, from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> <That's not Yeah. laughs> I, didn't, I was not given an opportunity to miss Jamaica because of the kids on Peter Street and the Sudbury Wolves. Yeah. Right, so right away, you, you, you know, hockey, obviously, is just so crucial to people's lives in this country. So. You were on it, but where did your first skates come from? My first skates, I remember, uh, were purchased secondhand skates from the Salvation Army, you know, and uh, the game was, even back then in the 70s, was very expensive, as you know, and, and so my parents bought me my first pair of skates uh, there uh, to get me in the game. Well, that, that's fantastic for them to do that, when you think about it, because it, 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 was, a foreign, it was foreign to them, culturally. Yes, 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 and, uh, but, uh, you know, as parents, want to be helpful, and sometimes uh, parents don't have the resources to, and, and that's why we're here today to talk about the Hyundai Hockey Helpers program. Right, and a lot of parents uh, get their, their kids into hockey. A lot of those parents hope that's going to result in an NHL career, and that is very rare. Mm -hmm. You've got... Two sons, <laughs> well, PK, of course, is, as I said, with the Habs. One more. And one more, and uh, one more who yeah. is in the NHL now He's or no? He's playing in Belleville right now, and is, uh, is we're hoping that he, he gets drafted next year, right. but it's his NHL draft year. This and Malcolm, year. you just got drafted by the Bruins, right? Yeah. Congratulations on Thank that. You. So how does this happen? Well, you know, the, uh, I, like I said, I was introduced to the game in, in Sudbury, and, and so I fell in love with the game. It became a passion for me, and even though I couldn't play because of uh, lack of resources, so these boys were introduced to the game uh, before they were out of, uh, out of Pampers, you know what I mean? Right. So, so I, I suppose that's just kind of what it was. It was. This was the first athletic, if it had been golf, or tennis, they would be. They'd be doing that. Yes, that's right. That's right. You know, if you want, I think it's. I, I believe in loading their GPS early on in life. You yeah. know, and it really sets their destination. Sure. It doesn't uh, mean that's the only thing that they they can do, but if but if it develops, they ha they got a jump start. You know what? Yeah. The earlier they are, the earlier they start something, the easier it is, and and We're it worked enough. Like you're not here. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Well, how did you guys think about this when you were kids? Was it something that you felt passionate about? Yeah, for sure, and, and like my, my, my dad said, my parents put me into hockey very early, and uh, when you grow into something, you can grow a passion for it, and we did, and uh, they continued to work with me um, all the way since I was two and a half when I started to skate. Is that how old yeah. you were? Yeah, when I started skating, yeah. and uh, to now I'm 23, and they're still working with me, so uh, um, you know what, I, I have to give them a lot of credit. They've made a tremendous amount of sacrifices, and to be a part of, uh, you know, this program now um, is something great, being able to give back and, and to help those kids that maybe uh, don't have the financial support, um, you know, to, to give them an opportunity not just to succeed at hockey, but, but in life too. Mm -hmm. Is that what you feel as well, Malcolm, that it, it, was this part of a bigger picture in your life as well, the dedication to hockey and, and what it takes to be successful there? And we were talking earlier as well about this, when you, to become a success in life, you have to really have a, a very serious focus. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, and, and it teaches kids valuable life skills. I know me uh, playing in tournaments and so on, you know, you miss school, you, you got to catch up and you, you can't get behind, and, and it, it just teaches you to balance things in life, and, and obviously you need to support your parents there, and they help me a lot with that as well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the actual program. You, know, yeah. you sketch that out for us. Yeah, for sure. Well, um, the program, basically what it is, is uh, Hyundai's teamed up with KidSport um, to, to fund uh, over a thousand kids uh, for the registration and equipment, you know, for those kids. And basically what KidSport does is they target those kids, those kids that actually really need the help. Right. And um, Now, are they recommended by teachers and people that, that know about those children? Well, KidSport is a nonprofit organization, and that's what they do. You know what I mean? They help those kids um, that don't have the, the financial support um, in not just hockey, but in other sports right. too. And uh, Hyundai, they're teaming up to, to have this program that's going to be uh, tremendous for these kids. And uh, for any people that want to know more about the program or want to get involved, they can visit uh, HyundaiHockey.ca. Uh, okay. uh, and Carl, you know, 
you really put your money where your mouth is in a lot of ways with this charity, but also I was reading about you and, and a few years back you requested to your principal. Yes. Uh, at a middle school and you requested to be transferred to a middle school in, in the Jane and Finch area. Yes. Why did you want to do that? Well, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's uh, my, my, I look at my, all my five children, but especially people know about the three boys and I look at in terms of what they've achieved and uh, there's so many people who stepped up uh, to support them and, and my family and and so it's it's my life's way now uh, to give back and I'm able to do that through the Hyundai Hockey Helpers uh, program and uh, and also they're learning about giving back it's not just always what you get but it's what you give and and what a life skill what a life lesson and, and even a Hyundai is targeting a thousand kids they know that they'll be receiving but they also need to give back even if it's a thank mm -hmm. right. even if it's a thank you right. so it's it's easy for us to get involved with this program because it, it uh, I see what giving has done for my family and I'm so happy that Kids Sports Canada and uh, Hyundai uh, Corporation is stepping up uh, to help uh, uh, bring children to the starting life so they'll be able to take uh, take uh, be given opportunities and hopefully take advantage of them like my boys have done we got a wrap but I can't let you guys go. Uh, PK, Malcolm, without asking you this question, are we having a hockey season? Well, I, you know, the, the pros, <laughs> I know. you know, like I've been asked that question, it seems like a million times this summer, but um, you know what, at this point, I think that uh, as a player, you look to the fans. I mean, those are the people that really put us in a position to be successful and grow our sport and uh, they're the biggest supporters and really we play for for our fans so mm -hmm. um you know at the end of it you just don't want to see them get hurt and you want to see a game on the ice and us players you know that's what we that's what we know we know playing hockey mm -hmm. you know that's what we've done to, to get to the nhl so you know we want to play we just hope that both sides can reach a, a fair agreement soon uh, all the hockey fans out there hope so as well. Carl, PK, and Malcolm Subban, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for really having us. Really great meeting Thank you. Guys.